Title, Sticky Situation, Drew Smith, Mets pitcher, booted out and glued to a 10-game bench warming session. TLDR. In a plot twist as sticky as a kid's birthday party, New York Mets relief pitcher Drew Smith has been shown the door mid-game for using sticky substances. Tossed out like a hot potato by umpire Bill Miller, Smith is now looking at a compulsory 10-day suspension. Is it deja vu? Yes, Smith isn't the first Mets pitcher to get a sticky boot, as ace pitcher Max Scherzer was also sent off earlier this season. So, what's next for Smith? Will he take it on the chin, or appeal the suspension? It was a typical Subway Series matchup between the New York Mets and the New York Yankees. Until the seventh inning. Enter Drew Smith. Exit Drew Smith. The umpiring crew, led by Bill Miller, had their eyes and hands on Smith, giving him an intense check before the inning began. And then, just like that, he was shown the red card. Why, you ask? For using sticky substances. A bit like trying to cheat in a school test, except this isn't about grades, it's about games. Ten of them, to be exact, that Smith will miss if he doesn't appeal his suspension. Now, we've seen this movie before. Earlier this season, Max Scherzer, the Mets ace, found himself in a similar sticky situation. He was tossed out mid-game against the Los Angeles Dodgers. Despite his insistence that he was only using sweat and rosin, ew, but okay, Max, he didn't appeal his 10-game suspension. I guess sometimes, it's easier to accept your fate than fight it, right? So, Smith could follow in Scherzer's footsteps and not appeal his suspension. But that would mean the Mets are down one relief pitcher for the next 10 games. Now, that's a decision tougher than a stale gum. So let's get to the really important question here. Why do these pitchers keep getting into these sticky situations? Is it worth it? And how's this affecting the game we all love so much? As we wrap this up, let's not forget, we're not giving advice or taking sides. We're just here to bring you the juicy details, the drama, the highs, the lows, and the outright hilarious. So, what's your take? Should Drew Smith accept his fate, or appeal the decision? And, more importantly, what should MLB do to prevent these sticky situations from happening again? Let's hear it, folks.